Hello everybody, Brandon Parker back again with another gameplay video on DC Universe Online. Okay, I'm going to show you my characters that I have right now. This, okay, this is my Magic Slider character, what he looks like right now. He's not the strongest character in the game. Um, he's like the weakest, I don't play with him that much. And this one, I play with him a little more. And then th this one's my favorite, of course. And then this one, um, yeah, this one's my... Whoosh, this is my fate. Well, it's all right. He's um, he's all right. Um, so yep. So yep. This one, I don't really because of this one. Uh, he does T two alerts right now. So this one does T two alerts. This character and this is the one I'm gonna play with because this character is the best that I have right now, and my favorite. And I haven't played with him in a while. So, well, in a gameplay video, I haven't done one in a while on him. So this is he, this is why I'm gonna do him. Which is pretty cool, so I'm gonna do that, and uh, so we're gonna go right into it. Okay, so we're gonna go to this. Okay, um, so this is where I'm at right now. This is where you uh, go to your mailboxes. And sorry, it lagged a little bit. It's the connection right now. It's uh, warming up to it. Sometimes that happens when I first enter in. Um, so those are the mailboxes, and right back here is where you sell and buy stuff. Is back here. I'm sorry, it's lagging a little bit. Certain items in the game you can sell, certain items you have to earn, and certain items you can't even trade it because they want you to earn the item that you got. So if you got it, you can't give it away to someone else. Which is kind of good and kind of pointless in a way to have items that you can't really use. Like, like what I mean by that is like items that I get are healer items and I'm not a healer. So if I'm not a healer character or whatever. So that's, that's just that. So th I'm going to enter into some duos right now. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to enter uh, duos, alerts, anything, T3, and T2 stuff, because not T1, because I won't get much marks. And out of the alerts, I'll just do the T3s. But in the duos, I'll just do the T3 or T2s, whatever. For right now, probably like T3. So that's what I'll do on the alerts. So I'll just do the T3 for the duos, and the alerts, whatever, on the T2 and T3. Okay, so I can enter in on the T2 alert. So that's what I'm going to do there. It, I'm gonna have to go to damage because even though like if you see my character he's in he's a controller so even though he's a controller I'm gonna have to go to damage for duos which two person missions so I'm gonna have to do that all right okay so let me switch it over so I'm gonna switch it over switch to damage okay so make oops I gotta do this real quick real quick make sure everything is repaired and everything's good Nothing's damaged. Okay, I'm gonna get in. Do this. So this is kind of hard. So I gotta be careful with this. I'm pretty strong. I like my character a lot. He's got a really cool glow. He also updated the way the glow shows a little bit. It's not as strong as it was before, which is I think is a lot better. Shows a little bit less. So it's not too over glowy, I guess. The graphics are, in a way, not too different, but you can see a few changes with the graphics, which is not too bad. With my lantern, I like to keep them looking like a yellow lantern, or if I had a green lantern, just whatever the way the lanterns are supposed to look in the comics. I don't like to make them look way off or whatever. You have to be careful. Probably get knocked out because I'm getting too close because it's very tough. And even though I got a T3 chest right now, it's going to be very hard for me to survive without getting knocked out at least a few times. And I did not like that at all. I had no way. And he's going to try to revive me, but instead, he's to just keep attacking. He's the, in his healer role, which is not a good idea. He should try to be in damage. And also, one mistake I'm doing is I don't really have any damage gear on. Oh, one of my friends from school, who I guess he's offline or online, I wasn't paying attention. But anyways, yeah, so we're going to have to, it's going to take us a bit to do this. But we'll get through it, because my character's strong enough. It's just that I would probably do it without getting knocked out by a, like, T3 gear. 
bunch of T3 gear on. But I only have the chest. And then I need like damage gear. Like damage T3 gear. And I'm making him a controller. So it's kind of hard when I really need a good team. So I can get both really easy. The damage gear and the controller gear. Right now since I'm doing this myself. And I prefer being a controller. I'm only going to focus on getting controller T3 gear. For my character. Okay. So. Trying to take as many down as I can so you can get the those uh, tubes with the people in them where they get trapped we can save them Cause that's what we got to do here before we fight the bosses at the end of this some of you who watch this might know because this game's been out for a while and it's got a good amount of people playing it and it's been very popular since the day it came out which was in 2011 which the first year it came out and it actually came out at the beginning of 2011 and then I heard about it in like later that year towards November of that year so I remember exactly when I started and then at that time I was playing on PC and I prefer playing on consoles because I'm not much of a fan of playing games on a computer. So unless if it's a really good game and it's only meant to be played on a computer, then that's the only way I'll play it. But right now, a lot of games are so popular on console that uh, they're making them all for console. They still make them for PC, but it's not just for PC anymore because it's not... I say not as popular, but there are people that like to just play on the computer, which it, it all depends on what you prefer, but most people prefer to play on a console, and that's what I grew up on, is playing games on a console anyway, especially on Nintendo and all that stuff. So we're fighting Supergirl, so we have to be careful. She's pretty strong, and since I'm a villain, this is who course I'm gonna be fighting the superheroes and I'm I only have like a yellow lantern and I'm a huge fan of the lanterns in this game well in DC universe overall I'm a lantern person because like I said I I'm usually a fan of uh, Marvel I like Wolverine and of course spider-man's my main character well, I mean like the main superhero that I like this is pretty cool and we're pretty strong right now. Healing me is just good, but if we were both had damage T3 gear, we'd, we'd destroy here quickly. Because duos, you need damage gear. But like I said, I really can't have damage gear. So it's kind of hard. But we're doing okay, it's just going to take us a while. I would like to create my own league soon, I don't know. I haven't really found any good people in this game. And I really don't want random people, other than unless you're someone that watches my videos. I'd rather have a league that way. With people who follow me and watch my stuff. Because it's kind of hard playing with people I really don't know. Like, if you're watching my videos, that's alright. Then you kind of know a little bit about me and my videos and what I do. So, I'm just following the other guy because I don't want to get away from him because it's going to be a little bit difficult. And we have to fight this other people over here. And we're doing pretty good now that we're not separated. I'm getting hit, kinda. I had to use the soda cola to get some health back. See, I'm the only one. And then there's Huntress. Uh, Huntress, she's pretty strong. So she was the one that was attacking me because I was hitting the officers. And 
And it's kind of hard for me to chat with the other guy. I don't have my mic set up to my PlayStation right now. I have it set up just to talk to through the people that are watching the video. The reason why I don't have it set up that way is because I do have another mic. But I don't want to do that. I like I like this mic for when I'm playing a game because I don't really s like sit in front of the mic in order for it to stay clear. Because it'll sound like I'm fading away from the mic and I'm s sitting at a distance from it. That's why. On the next video I'll try that, see how it would work. And see I'm separated because I'm... He got knocked out because you got to stay together and fight him together or we're going to get knocked out. And every time I get knocked out, I always go to the vending machine to repair my gear, my equipment, my powers, all that stuff. Make sure they don't get messed up because if you get knocked out like five or six times, it won't let you use your equipment like if you're a brawler since that's me I'm a brawler type weapon that I'm using it wouldn't work anymore I'd have to repair it so yeah Huntress is kinda hard she's barely getting damaged right now it's gonna take us a while but we, we're barely getting damage is because I'm getting some health back from my partner, which is a healer. So I don't have any damage gear, any T3 damage gear, so that's why it's going to take a while. And apparently my partner doesn't either. But I guess I should just stay switch back to my controller role. Since it's not really doing me any good to be in damage right now. Other than what I have in my damage loadout, that's the only thing. Because all of it is damage stuff. But on my inventory, I don't have anything equipped that's damage. Just like, yeah, all of it is controller, not one thing is damage. And I made sure of that. Because if you mix it up, it's going to be all messed up, and then you're going to get knocked out, and then people will get pissed off and kick you out if it's messed up. Especially playing with random people, and it's also not good anyways to have it mixed up. And I actually have the Guy Gardener vest that's similar to the vest, like the chest that I have now. It just doesn't have the like the Superman logo if you're a hero or the what is it Zod yeah General Zod's logo which is a disease so she's getting being knocked out now okay we're good uh, commander I didn't see okay so we're gonna get this guy we're trying to destroy everything here so we can save the people without any problems we got we got to do black canary now and we got I, I i this is this is what i should be doing doing my combos that's what i should be doing right now okay and this is where I'm gonna do my combos with this. If it would if it would let me. It's not gonna let me do my combo. Hopefully. Yeah, she stopped me from doing it. Okay, now I'm gonna do it. Alright. I was able to do it that time. Oh, and I was going to try to do it again. She keeps hitting me like crazy. Yeah, I should get out of damage, but... I just go to damage anyways in duos. 
even though it wouldn't do me too much good but I definitely won't do it since I'm a controller and everything's controller for me I won't do it in a four person or eight person missions which is rays for eight person missions and alerts for four people oh. yeah this is taking us a while this is what you get with playing around with the random person so I'm not sure what he has for T3 gear I could inspect him but I don't really have time to do it and I don't want to take too much time on this video from the gameplay anyway I wish I was doing a four person. I might have to do that in the next video. D yeah, because we're already at 20 minutes. So it'll be almost at 20 minutes. Pretty close. Okay. So, And if you get this done really fast, you get like a speed fleet, which will give you fleets. You can get fleets for your points towards your uh, weapons so they can get stronger and unlock stuff for your weapon. I'm gonna get knocked out if my partner doesn't. Yeah, see I had to use a soda cola. He 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 left me behind. Yeah, I noticed that he left me behind, that's why I got knocked out. It sucks I don't got damage gear but I don't gotta a league and I like to create my own but like I said it's hard playing with random people so this is yeah pretty cool I, I like the way my character looks though I have a different mask uh, uh, or headpiece for my character but let's see but uh, what I got now like I said makes me look like a hundred percent like a true lantern and I'll show you the guy gardener chest I actually someone gave it to me I wanted it and he just gave it to me he said I guess I'll give it to you because usually they'll sell it in the damn uh, uh, what is it in the area of the game where you sell like you can sell stuff certain gear because some gear it, you can only earn it and it won't let you sell it because they only want certain gear to be earned and some gear you can just sell it but I'm gonna leave this right there Let's see he went over I'm gonna wait for this okay I'm gonna take this one which one did he not do or did do I don't know if he did uh, he didn't do that one because it's white still on the top right corner where it shows the map yeah right here so he's gonna do the last one okay and a lot of times I don't really even like talking to people anyways so it, it, in in this game they don't really listen to me anyways that's why I want my own league too I just don't like so when he but she really hasn't tried talking to me other than that one one second that he did hopefully we don't get knocked out here we have to fight Robin and Superman which is pretty weird it would be cool I don't really get to fight Batman I guess bat yeah I, I noticed that Superman shows up a lot but not in this game well there is like one they need to make like Batman DLC stuff like they did one for Joker but like Batman where I guess bat like 
I don't know how to explain it, but because you can be Batman in this game, and Huntress and all the people that were fighting here, that's uh, legendary stuff, and you fight other players. That's another reason why I like this game. You play as your own character, and you can play as the actual superheroes from the DC Universe online at the same time. And they got other, they got another DC game, uh, it's, um, I, f oh, I forgot what it's called, I, th I think it's, uh, no, not Injustice, but, uh, it's another one, it's kind of like, uh, Marvel Universe, I mean, not Marvel Universe, but Marvel Heroes, uh, I gotta look it up, cause I forgot the name. Because I never really paid attention to it. But I saw Angry Joe. On his YouTube channel. I saw him do that game. And I just. Since I don't really like Marvel Heroes. Because of the way the game is. The controls of the game. And it's only for PC. I just don't really really like the controls of it. It's, it's hard to control your character. It's hard to move around. And you have to use a mouse. And you can't really use a controller. So it's very difficult. And that is the main reason why I don't like playing games on PC. A lot of them, you really can't use a controller, even though they have USB joysticks to allow you to do it. To allow you to use a controller, it's a lot of games don't really have allow you to do it. So that's another reason why I don't really want to play on a PC, because I probably would, but they're not joystick friendly, really. You have to manually set the controls yourself and it's just too difficult. They want you to use the keyboard, all the dang buttons on it, and the numbers on it, like, pointless. Especially when I was trying to play Modern, because the last game that I was playing on a major console type game, which is Call of Duty, I was playing Modern Warfare 3, that was the last Call of Duty game was, I was playing on PC and it was very difficult for me using the joystick. I couldn't get the controls set correctly and it was just a hassle. And they have programs to make it easy, easier for you but uh, yeah if we had damage gear we would have knocked him out by now. This is taking longer than it should but at least we're not getting knocked out ourselves. Because we're staying together. Mostly this game works really well if you work, uh, if you have a good team of people. Yeah, I did, I did more damage because even if I was in my controller role, I was still going to do more damage than him because my dominance is very high. It's like 500 something. So I'm going to go to my inventory before I leave and uh, get my marks of triumph, which is mostly what you get in this game. They used to have marks of distinction and they do have marks of krypton and other stuff but mostly it's marks of triumphs that you get in this game now I have loyalty points a lot to get like gear that you have to pay for because I um, I'm a paid player that's why I got this glow and other stuff I want to get the plasmic uh, glow aurora whatever you call it I want to get that because they just came out with that but I don't know how you get it now because I don't see it in the I haven't seen it in a lockbox yet and but I've seen it in the area where you spec ops 64 what what's it, what pants do I have now 62 oh legs and this is 64 but oh but this is damage so I'm gonna have to leave that well I'm gonna take it for this dial but unequip it because it's gonna put me in damage uh, I would have to be in damage for that and 
most of what I have right now is controller stuff. That's what I'm trying to be. Before I leave too, I'm also going to uh, check to see the pants. So let's go to my style, uh, the, the spec op pants, I guess is what it's called. So with spec ops, see if it looks good. Because the pants I had before were uh, Krypton flex suit. I'm going to go back to the spec off because I think it looks kind of cool. Okay, just make sure. Yeah, black in that part. Yeah, I like the way it looks. It look Hold on. I don't like that belt. Oh man. And then there's another color. If I went white, black. All in yellow there, black here. All black, because usually their pants are all. Bl if I went this route, oh, I'll try this for now. Oh no no! I right, screwed up. Press circle. Okay. Yeah, this for now. Yeah, like this. Just a tad bit of yellow. I still look like a true lantern and kind of different. Of course, you're going to have to look different anyways. Because... Yeah, I'll stay with these pants for a while. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go... I'll just go to the exit, which is right here. Okay. I'll stick with these pants for now. <laughs> they look okay. Except I didn't like that in the middle like it looks like you need a, a different belt I'll, I'll see see that part in the middle sticks out and I'm very picky so let's see if I, I have a belt to make it match because the belt I have came from a lockbox which you have to pay for a subscription fee for the what the heck my character wasn't showing Okay, there it goes. Could be that I'm recording at the same time. That that's why that happened. But I'm not really sure. Um, is Pat a noble boy? Hold on, the belt. Let's go back to the waist. Let's see if I can get a better. Let's see this waist. Uh, if but if it sits on top. It sits on top. I'm not going to pick a what. I might. Go back to the waist that I had. Yeah, I think it's just gonna. Sell. I'm just gonna do the Stuart Defender. It's all yellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I may. I like the pants, but I don't like the. It looks like he already has a belt. I guess I'll stick with it for now. I'll stick with the pants for now. They do. Nah, I. You see, I am very picky on the pants. I'm just gonna go back to what I had, the Kryptonian flex suit. I'm almost at the point where I'm gonna lock the matching pants to to the chest. Yeah, so I'm almost at the point where I'm gonna get the matching pants to the chest. I could do Nova Warrior, but uh, I would need a a better belt. And I don't. Yeah, see that gold there. I'm very picky on it. So, let's just stick with Kryptonian flex suit. Okay. It's all black. Okay. And the middle. So, this part. Yeah, I'll just leave that yellow. And this yellow. Okay. Like I had before, I'll just leave it like that for now. Yeah. Because this is the only pants for right now that I like and not too many people wear this kind of pants I think they don't I haven't really unlocked it it's kind of like a rare unlock you either have to do um, the briefings or whatever like get all of, all of them forgot where it is and then you unlock it I think it's in the one of the T3 raids yeah one of the T3 raids with eight players that you get it. 
because I think that's where I got it. So I got it. I got this twice. Two of my characters, I got it. Uh, but I forgot the other character where I got it. And I'm not really a fan of the capes in this game. Uh, there's two capes I found that are alright. And I'll talk about that in another video. So, okay, see, my other instance is ready. I was kind of waiting for that too. Which is, uh, I didn't know which one it was. If it was the raid or, let's see which ones I, I, oh, I messed up there. Let's see, on duty. Okay, let's see which one it is. Marty at 30 minutes so at the end of this at the end of this or if it doesn't go well if I have to get out because the players will mess it up so we'll see but whatever happens here after this I'm going to end the gameplay video so whatever happens here oh yeah this is a T2 one I'm pretty strong for this I'm going to have to switch my role let me switch and I don't know if this is at the beginning I think it is. Okay. Yeah, I'm the only controller here. So I'm going to give him power. That's my job, is to spawn my powers to give him power. And I have powers that do power over time. Which power over time is more for like uh, quantum, but yellow lanterns do it too. They just don't call it power over time. when you're a yellow lantern or green lantern. And I got instant power. So I give him, see that? When they glow yellow, that means I've given him power. So I gotta make sure their blue bar is uh, filled up, because that's my job as a controller is to do that. And I do pretty good at it. Especially with what I have on me right now. I do pretty, pretty good. And this is a T2, so it's a little bit easier. Than it, well, in some ways, actually, I think the T3 are a lot easier than T2, to be honest. Unless all characters are as strong as me or stronger, then T2 alerts are not that bad. But a lot of times I came in here and I struggled because the other players sucked really bad. They were really low T2 level and they had barely just got to T2 missions. This group that I'm with now seems like they're alright. We'll see when we get to one of the bosses because there's th I think like three bosses you have to fight here or at least four, three or four. I think there's three for sure. Yeah, it's three. I'm running out of, uh, I need to get the other two in damage more. I have a supercharge, which I don't need it yet. Hopefully I wouldn't need it too much. I'm gonna try to stay with the whole group here. And I hate these uh, Predosaurus or Pediosaurus, whatever, how you pronounce it. These flying dinosaurs, because they pretty strong when you're trying to fight them by yourself even at my level and with what I have on yeah this video is probably going to be an hour long and this is going to take us a while especially when it's an alert and I don't know if they're strong enough to get this done fast it's probably going to go for about an hour long because I know we're going to sit in here for 20 minutes so yeah, this video is probably going to go to an hour. That's why I'm going to finish the gameplay after this. Unless something goes really wrong and they leave in the middle. Because a lot of times they won't finish it. Even if they get knocked out like two or three times or whatever. They won't finish it. Hopefully that doesn't happen here. And for those of you that uh, have been watching my videos... 
uh, a thing that I've been doing in school because I'm in college and I'm in film school. For those of you who don't know, I'm working on a, a short film. It's going to be eight minutes long. It's called The Final Watch. And it's uh, kind of like a coming of age film. Uh, two high school teens are being bullied. So I'm making it inspirational where they have thoughts of killing themselves. And in the end, they don't. And I don't want to give too much away on it because just by what I just said there is enough. Uh, to say what it's about. I want to give too much away because I want to show you it when it's done. I plan on doing it uh, the week after Thanksgiving. So after Thanksgiving, I, that's when I plan on shooting it for sure. This semester ends on December 13th, so I'm running out of time and getting actors is a main problem for me on it. And I'm not, sh I'm not sure how I'm going to uh, upload it on YouTube. Which I know it's not going to be on this channel because it's my gameplay channel. But either my Spinoc or my Master 78 channel, I don't know which one I'm going to upload it on. It might be a while before I upload it there because I'm going to enter it in the student show. And my school is pretty well, it's a pretty good school. It's tw top 25 out of the United States, so it's a pretty good school. It's the Colorado Film School. And I like the school a lot. The only thing I didn't like in the beginning of the semester, uh, which the class I'm doing the film on is Prod 2, Production 2. And I didn't like that my teacher wouldn't let me do an action film. He said I was all about the weapons and not about the dang characters and all that stuff. And he thought I got the idea from a video game. Which, the name of the film, I called it Revengeance. I got the idea of it. Of the, I got the name from a video game, but not the idea. I got it spawned off different action films and my own idea at the same time. Just the name of it, Revengeance, is from it, the new Metal Gear game, Revengeance. Yeah, that's where I got the name from. Because I thought the name was pretty cool and I looked it up on the internet. If there was a short film with the name Revengeance. So I didn't find any films with that. Any short films with that name. So that's what I plan on doing, but he shut it down and said I couldn't do it, so I just quit my action film. Now I'm doing something inspirational with two high school teens, 17 years old. They're like in, in junior high school. They're in, the, in their junior year of high school and frustrated a little bit being picked on based on true events and kind of my own experiences. The idea also kind of came from a song, the song coming down by Five Finger Death Punch. So that's what I plan on doing is something inspirational. And right now, I don't know exactly which channel I'm going to upload it on my Master 88 or my Spy Knock channel because I'm more I'm really popular on my main channel, which is my tutorial channel Master 88. So I'm really popular on that channel. Got to be careful here. Got to stay with the group or I'm going to get knocked out. And they all have full powers right now. It's not bad. Okay, we got, I got that one without getting really getting damaged. I'm gonna try to sneak up on him because I don't want to get hit. So, so I just if I can get it without getting hit. I'm not sure if this is gonna work here. Oh no, he's gonna hit me. He's gonna hit me. He's gonna hit me. He's gonna. Yeah, it takes too long. Oh, uh, I, I actually I think I got it. I think I think it gave it to me. So I'm gonna just run away because I don't really want to fight it myself. I'm gonna get knocked out. He's already hit me pretty good. Yep, I had to use that. So I got that one. Okay. There oh, okay, there's one more left. So hopefully we go to this one and I can get this without getting hit. I like the gloves that I have. I actually have the Snestral gloves, but I don't like the gold like the yellow on them. It looks more gold. Which, I don't know why they call called Yellow Lanterns when they, sh when, well, they're fear. Yellow Lantern is fear, but why are they yellow instead of gold lanterns? Because it looks more gold. They look more gold than yellow. Oops. I think it's because one of us got hit or both of us did. I'm going to open up all of them. 
Well, the first two anyway, those ones. Then we're going to go in this one because that's the one we opened. Make sure I'm not by myself or I'm going to get knocked out. Yeah, they, they got to be in there with me or I'm going to get knocked out. Okay. Okay, we're good. Okay, so now we're on here. And okay, if I get hit, I'm going to have to attack them. Yep, they're going to hit me. So what I'm going to do is just fight them off and let one of the other players do it. Because I think I'm the strongest player in here from what it looks like to me. <gasps> Dumbass, leave my friends alone. We got to get this finished in a timely manner because it's already at 40 minutes. Yeah, this may this is probably gonna go to an hour. Okay. Yeah, hopefully I don't get hit. You're gonna hit me, are you? I was gonna attack him. We actually switch to the damage roll when we are these characters. Most of the time when you switch to, when you're forced to be another something else like this in a mission, you usually go to damage. I mean not damage, but uh, defense, which is a tank. They call it defense tank. I keep saying damage, but it's not. It's tank. You see that shield above your, na uh, next to your name? You're a tank. Damage is where you see a fire next to your name. That's when you're in damage. See it. Okay, hopefully you can get it. As long as he doesn't get hit. He keeps getting hit, doesn't he? Okay, we got that one. Now we have to fight. Oh no, not yet, because we have two more to go. So we're getting this one. Oh, I'm getting hit pretty good. I hope I don't get knocked out. I'm out of soda, so the next time I get knocked out, I'm going to go buy some. Well, I have two left uh, on here. Yeah, so I have two. But I still need to get some. Cause I need... I like to have 12 at least. And there's instant sodas. I had some, but I need to buy them, and there are some people sell them in the, I forget what they call it, the, the bank or whatever, the, wherever you sell your stuff in the game. Like, where, where, where I was, bef before I entered the missions, that's where I was, where the mailboxes are and all that stuff, that's where they sell their, s sell stuff and in the game where players sell stuff that they unlock or have and don't want it anymore and they want money to get something else like me the reason why I have for me my character has a, like almost like I think like four million dollars I think I think I have like four million dollars on me and the reason is is because I got everything that I want for my character right now especially the this one so and I could share my cash with my other characters if I have some, if there's something I want for him, but since I pretty much have everything I want for all of my characters, I really just gonna save my money. Especially because a couple times I saw the plasmic uh, wars for like ten thousand, or t not ten, not ten thousand, but ten million dollars or more of in-game cash, and I'm almost dead. I'm almost dead. Because he controlled me and he was doing his lightning and he screwed me up. If Because what I was trying to do was a, I was doing everything that I was supposed to but he he controlled me. He turned me one of two of those metal men because that's what they're called. He turned me into one of them and I couldn't move at all. So that's why I got knocked out. I could not move whatsoever. That's why I say 
I th I think even this one is harder than most of the T3 alerts, which this is what I'm doing because it's four person. Yeah. Oh, I should have got some sodas. I'm, I'm probably going to do that uh, well, for sure the next time I forgot about it. But I shouldn't have to do that if I'm not getting... I shouldn't be getting locked out, but... Oh, wow. Alright. This is the right spot. I don't know, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's incorrect. We don't have to ever go in there. There's enemies in there. The only way you go, the only reason why you, the only reason you go in that one is if you want to get that, uh, uh, briefing or investigation thing. That's in there. Yeah, I, I go to this one. Because you don't need to fight the enemies that are in there. Which, in some ways, it might be a good idea because you might get a lockbox out of it if you keep fighting enemies. The lockboxes pop out of random enemies that you kill. Right now, when you're at level 30, it's pointless to fight enemies just because you want to level up and get to the max level. Because like in Kingdom Hearts, that is why I just spent like hours fighting them. Because I want to get to level 100. So like, that's what I would do in games like Kingdom Hearts. I'll just keep fighting them until I get to level 100. Then I'll go to the uh, level that, that you get a lot of experience points by killing them. Like, like, like in, in the Peter Pan, Peter Pan level, level, I'll stay I'll there, stay there for like an hour or two. two. Just trying, just trying to get, get all the way up, all way up to level 100. 100. It's a good, it's a good strategy, strategy which is when you get to level 100, 100 pretty, pretty much near the near strong, strong, really strong, really strong, you won't really die. The only character, only character that probably, probably still going to be a struggle, be a struggle is like, is like um, I forgot, I forgot his, name. his name, X, X whatever, whatever, X, X one, whatever, whatever, I don't know. And he's one of the fantasy. Uh, Final, Final Fantasy, Fantasy characters, characters cause that's what, that's what Kingdom Hearts is, Hearts is. It's, uh, it's a mixture of Final, Final Fantasy, Fantasy and Disney, and Disney and together, together and then it's and then its own game at the same time. Zora, Zora, Zora and its own characters and Kyrie and Roxas and Riku. Wait, 
maybe, maybe like 10 minutes before I use it again. It'll, it'll stay full. If I use it immediately afterwards, then it'll deplete really fast. Like, I'm gonna have to wait a lot longer. So the longer I wait to use it again, the more it'll stay supercharged. So that's the plan that I try to go with it. So, um, so my goal now is to not use it at, le uh, at least in the next five minutes or longer before I use it again. So you have to go here, and this is the hardest part of the whole, because there's a lot of enemies here and they knock you out pretty fast, so you gotta be careful. So it's not a good idea to be by yourself in here if you're not strong enough, which I guess he kind of is, depending. Getting hit pretty good, so watch out. He's getting hit, being controlled. Okay. Okay, we're gonna have to wait for the other two people to get in here because this is really hard. If I go in here by myself, I know I'm gonna get knocked out. That's why I can't wait to get uh, the pants, t the matching pants to my chest. One, it looks good, and two, it'll make me a lot stronger. I'm almost there. I have to see how much uh, marks I have. I have a thousand something, I think, already. I know a thousand something. Maybe like I think it. May I think more like two thousand. I really have to see. Because usually what I do is I go for the chest and the pants first. A lot of people they go for the back first, which it's to me. I think it's best if you go for the chest. I go for the most expensive items first. that's what I try to do and I see all that lightning stuff knocked us knocked me out really good and I try to back away but it's too hard okay so moving along here now going back Hopefully this time I don't get knocked out. It's, it is frustrating. I usually get more frustrated when I'm not recording. Because I don't want to get too... I don't want to show my frustration while doing it in a gameplay video. Okay, so we go up to this one. Because we're almost to the last boss. But we got to get through this part without getting knocked out. Oh, those other two right there are not attacking me. Now they are. They weren't for a second. Oh, crap. Oh, shit. Yeah, see? I used it too soon, and uh, if I would have waited another two or three minutes, it probably would have stayed full. Now I have to wait a little bit. If I use it again, it'll probably go all the way down. I would have to wait a lot longer for my supercharge. Which is, which is the one, uh, the power, like this power right here, this, this one, the triangle one, the one where I have to press triangle, it's that one. That's the one I'm talking about, because I'll just point it to you in the video, but I don't think you can see me pointing at it. It's the power with the yellow circle on it. That's the one I'm talking about. Alright. So hopefully we don't get knocked out here. I'm doing a good job of giving him power. It's just that they're taking our health. And the healer can do a little bit of a better job. 
but I'm not going to complain too much because it's it is kind of tough and I think this is a lot harder than a T3 alerts the one where I go to uh, Gotham hospital whatever where I fight scarecrow poison ivy and Mr. Freeze that one's the hardest T3 one because the other T3s I think they should be T2 so they should change them around I've tried bringing that up to him but I guess it's they have it well they haven't listened to me on it because it has to be more than just me and a lot of people just go with whatever in the game in a lot of games a lot of people just go with the flow and they don't really put themselves out there to it oh I'm wondering where they're going I'm supposed to go this oh I see I was wondering why they were doing that for a second they were supposed to go in here this is where we're supposed to go. It may be glitched. It may. Oh, there we go. I'm probably going to get knocked out if they don't get in here fast enough to help me. Okay, we're good. I already almost killed them myself anyway. And I barely got damaged. And that's what we wanted. That thing to break. This should open up now because we, we're going to do this. Okay. Okay. I hate that thing because I'm just going to go past it even if it's, I'm not going to wait because I'm impatient. I'll get hit, but it shouldn't hit me that bad. So I'm going to speed it. Try to get past it. Oh, damn it. Because I got stuck on the wall. That's why that happened. But I barely got damaged anyway. Some of them probably waited. I'm not gonna do anything to. Well, I guess I could. I'm not gonna wait for him because I don't. Re we don't really need to. We don't really need to. Because I'm strong enough to get this guy myself. And my partner should be able to be strong enough, anyways. Okay, they got in there quick enough. That's what I wanted. I know I should have waited for him, but I didn't want to. When I that was a close one, though. I kind of should have, but I didn't realize that was gonna happen. Where I almost got knocked out. But nonetheless, it worked out still. I was able to get him without waiting for my other two team members. Okay. Giving him some power. All right, go over to here. And this is the last boss. We're at 58 minutes. Yeah, it's going to be an hour long. I knew it. An, an hour on the dot. A little bit over an hour. Like maybe an hour and five minutes or so. Depending. I, we might have another 10 minutes to go. So it's going to be like an hour and 10 minutes. This game could last that long. Even though it looks like these missions you can get them done a lot faster. What makes them hard is you keep getting knocked out. And everything goes really slow in this game. Especially when you're playing with people who are really not really that strong. They're kind of, but because I'm pretty strong for this alert, that's why we are kind of getting knocked out, but kind of aren't. It's, it's really hard. You'd be getting knocked out immediately. I would probably, if it was really hard, I would probably would have got knocked out like five times really fast. One right after another. So we're, we're in the middle. We're kind of strong, but not 100%. But just enough to get through it. It may take us a while like it is now. Because I think this is taking us probably like about 
I know, like, for sure, a good 30 minutes to get us to do this, I think. Yeah, like, good 30 minutes. Took me 30 minutes to do the, just about 30 minutes to do the first one that I did, which was a duo. Uh, I, and they got knocked out, and that's another reason. I was trying to give them power. I was going to try. We got knocked out there. Didn't work out the way that I wanted it to. I, I'm going to get soda colas. That's what I should do now. Yep, going to get these. See, uh, you, you see there? Hold on. Okay, hopefully it gave me some. Better it gave me some. Better have. No, and then it, what? What? Give me some sodas. Why you're not? Okay, I don't understand why. You okay, I got two there. I don't understand. It didn't give me. It didn't, it didn't give me any. What am I doing wrong? It should it should give me some sodas. It says buy. Yeah, I, I I bought them so I know where they're going. There it goes. That's what I was looking for. I need to clean it out a lot better. It's my inventory is messy. Hopefully, they're not going to knock me out. Because sometimes if you take too long in there or whatever it's they're doing, they will kick you out. Because I'm coming over there. I was trying to get... And then I'm not having my mic connected to them, so that's a bit kind of hard. See, I'm still getting hit. God dang it. And it wants to take most of my freaking health away. There's a question that I haven't got all the collection stuff in here. Just everything else, I think. Oh, it's, I already collected that, so I'm going to let it go. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay. And my character, compared to all most characters in this game, looks pretty cool. He looks like a true lantern, and he doesn't like look too stupid. Because a lot of gear in this game, I do not like it. They they have it that way. I think is because they don't want you to look like Batman. They want you to look different, which is which is cool and all. But they need to come out with better gear, even in the marketplace because most of the gear in the marketplace is crappy so far mostly what I like is the T3 gear and a couple of the T4 maybe T5 gear we should do a lot better here I'm getting hit really bad really bad uh, healer sucks Healer did not use his healing power. Just look at how full his blue bar was. It was full. That was his fault. He didn't spawn. And there's nothing for me to do. I he has full bar, so anything I do, it's just gonna do nothing now because he has full bar. It's pointless for me to give him power when he has power. So that's that's what I meant mean by that. The healer screwed it up twice. Maybe on the first one I'll give him that, but the second time around that we got knocked out, it was his fault on that one. He he did not spawn his heals. And he is a sorcery healer, so 
You shouldn't. Oh, and I'm still getting hit. I'm still getting hit. I'm way past it. Oh, I almost got hit by the other one. I luckily got away. This is going to take a while because the boss is pretty hard. And the other players are not playing smart. They're... They're not... So what we gotta do is shut those off uh, and we gotta start aiding him. Then there will be a point where we have to shut these two consoles on the left and on the right. So the console right here and the console over there all the way over here. I'm not gonna get too close because it's gonna start the fight and we have to wait for everybody to get here. Because I know we're, sh I know for me I'm strong enough. So if they can do their part, we shouldn't be getting knocked out. And I do like the graphics update a little bit. It's not a dramatic change. You only notice a little bit of a difference with the graphics update. This is update 31 of the game, so they've updated it 31 times since it's been out, and it's been out since 2011. Like I said. Like, the beginning of 2011 has been out. But like I said, I started playing this in November of that year. So I've been playing this for, I th yeah, it's three, for about three years now, almost. Three years. For sure, two years. Yeah, next November will be three years. So, two years for sure I've been playing this off and on. Mostly was on the PC. And I've been playing this for almost a year on the PS. PlayStation 3 side and I'll be getting me a PS4 soon uh, not I'm not sure when but for sure when Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out because that game was questionable if they were going to come out with it or not and they've confirmed it I've seen trailers of it and it's pretty interesting and I'm a huge fan I love the Disney stuff and it's own spin off with uh, Final Fantasy I've never really played the Final Fantasy games so I'm not really into that because I never really played them but uh, I'm into the whole story of Kingdom Hearts because I like Disney. I grew up with uh, Little Mermaid, Peter Pan, and Beauty and the Beast. So I'm interested to see what's going to happen with that game, Kingdom Hearts 3. So I'll be doing, uh, I haven't done uh, gameplay videos yet to uh, the Kingdom Hearts 1.5 HD Remix. So I got to do gameplay videos to that. Cause I, I got the game like I say like four weeks ago just about is when I got it. it came out in September and I just got it like four weeks ago and I've been playing it and I had issues with my channel copyright issues and then I got it resolved finally like two days ago and it finally went through today so that's why I'm doing this gameplay video Okay, we got we gotta be in the suit, we gotta be in the suit, gotta be in the suit. They're they're gonna get knocked out. We gotta be in the suit, oh crap, they're gonna get knocked out and I'm in the suit and I need to give it, no, they don't need power. It's gonna be the healer's fault. Shit. I don't know what the hell's going on. They, they gotta help me, they gotta help me, they gotta help me. One of them should be trying to st uh, get the thing. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Got it, I got it, I got it. Gonna get this one, gonna get this one. Okay, we gotta make sure, did we get the second one? Let me make sure on that. Okay, we gotta get this other console. And they should know that because You've already done this once when you're leveling up to 30, so you should already know what to do here. So if they don't know what the hell they're doing, then they're idiots. Because they, they've already done this once. So most of these, uh, unless you're doing like T4 stuff, most of them, 
you've already done it once before, so you're just doing it again. Except it's a little bit harder doing it a second time. Okay, I got him. Okay, you're gonna, you're gonna. Okay. Okay, the healer has full powers, no excuses. No excuses on the healer's part. Okay. Yep. I used my supercharge. Shit. You tricked me. You made one of uh, my friends a small version of you so I couldn't see. I don't know why his name is Sang Shu. He looks like a big fat egg thing. Egg, demon, monster, whatever. I don't know his uh, part in DC. What he has to do with it, but he looks like crap. There's a, uh, in one of the T1 alerts, there's uh, another uh, called, I think it's called Babyface. Babyface looks like a, uh, one of the characters from the Toy Story, very, very first Toy Story movie, and we killed him. We got him. It took us an hour and 11 minutes to do that. Oh. Alright. Yeah, see, I didn't do much damage because I wasn't in the damage roll, and the people that were in damage probably had full damage gear, so that's why. But I did a good amount for not being in damage. Still. But I probably would have done a lot more. If. I probably was the only strong one in here. And they were strong enough. So we got everything. From this. So I got everything I wanted. Okay this. 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 And this. Okay. I've already got that. So I'm going to toss that. Uh, that's for tanks so that you're doing good and I can't sell that toss this toss this toss this this and this because it's for a healer and I can't trade it or do anything with it so just toss it ooh what 42 I'll take this just for the and then toss it okay see it cannot trade Engineer. Oh, 64. What what do I have on my hands now? Gloves. 64. So it's this the same. Oh, is this damage or controller? Which one do I have? Do I have on damage or control? I have controller. 12 power, 1 visual lit. 3 dominance. The, okay, I'll stick with this. Engineer. I'm going to see what the gloves. I just want to see what they look like. That's what I should do. I just want to see what they look like. Um, so. Oh, uh, they're alright. They're a bit small. Because it doesn't cover up this part. So I'll just go back to the. What I had before. Which is Master Mercenary. Gloves. I paid like 500,000 for this. I think when I got them. But it's worth it. I could have waited for a lockbox to get them. But. I watered them because they look pretty cool. Okay. So that's it on this gameplay video for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for checking this hour long gameplay video to DC Universe Online. Uh, it takes a long time when doing a lot of these missions. That's why it was this long. And I kind of wanted to go all out with this go pretty long because it's been a while since I've done a gameplay video. And a long one, I should say. So, because I've done two on. Call of Duty Ghost, I've done two gameplay videos on that. And so, yep. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out this gameplay video. I'm going to go to my base to show you what it looks like. I have, I have done a little bit of stuff to it. It's smaller. I chose the smaller one, which is probably like the free version base. You get three free ones. And I'm not really a fan of the bases, so that's why I haven't bought any. And if I had a leg, I'd probably create one. So, I'm going to go to it real fast. So, we're going to go to, go to, oops, I need to go to this. To the map.
Yeah. And then I'm going to go here. Okay, I'm going to warp to my base. That player probably wants to duel me or something. I have ignored dual invites. I don't really want to interact with other players unless I have my own league. Then I'll we'll interact with other players. So, let me show you what my base looks like. It's small. It's just meant for me and me only. So that's why I wanted this small base. That's one of the free ones. So it's decorated kind of nice. So I have the pumpkins there from Halloween because they came out with Halloween content and stuff. And the reason why I still have the pumpkins because pumpkins work for Thanksgiving. So the way I have it set up now, it's kind of Thanksgiving-ish. Kind of looks pretty cool. It's not too fancy because I'm the only one that's in this base. So this is what it looks like. And this DLC for the bases just came out back in April. So it's been out for a while now. So it's pretty cool. I like it. I like I like it in some ways I just don't like it because I'm the only one by myself so no I'm not sh no one's really gonna see this unless I show you it like I am now but really no and since I don't got a league of my own it's kind of boring but uh, yep so this is my base this is what it looks like I'm not too picky about it I just like a very small one since I'm by myself now. And this is all I have, and I don't want to add any more of what I, than what I got now because it's just going to be too cluttered. Because I I've I got a lot of stuff that I've got for base items, and any any more than what I got now, it's it's going to be cluttered. It kind of looks cluttered already to me, and so I so I'm not going to mess with that too much. And that's it on this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out this gameplay video. This hour and 16, almost 17 minutes long already video. Thanks for checking it out. Uh, subscribe for more gameplay videos to many other games. Call of Duty Ghosts, this game, DC Universe Online, and many others. I'll be doing Kingdom Hearts here soon, shortly, in the next few days. We start and do gameplays and videos on that. And I'm going to start doing uh, GTA 5 gameplay videos on that as well. So I'll be doing that too. So I'll be doing gameplay videos on that. And thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out this gameplay video. And I'll talk to you guys later. And I'll see you guys later in my next gameplay. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll be back.